The Salaries and Remuneration Commission is grappling with ways to reduce the country's public sector wage bill from the current 48.1% of the total revenue to at least 35%. To this end, the Commission has proposed a raft of changes aimed at realizing this that has sparked debate among public sector players. Among the contentious issues is the proposal to rationalize the workforce, which has been viewed as a plan to suck workers. Whenever we mention this word rationalization, the immediate reaction was, hey, is that retrenchment? Are you going to reduce the number of employees? No. Every Kenyan has a right to have a job, but he has to be productive in that job. The country's wage bill has increased to 795.2 billion shillings in 2019, up from 526 billion shillings in 2014. <laughs> If you can use 795, so I will ask him to end the leg, what jury, what were health care, what education. Now, now sectors when Guinea, like in the wage bill, to Kisema Mamboya growth, your wage bill is CD growth, your revenue, na economic growth. Acting Cabinet Secretary for Treasury, Okuri Atani, says the increase has had a negative impact on development and service delivery objectives. We must live within our means. We must stop pretending. We must work hard to contribute to the health of the economy. And that means we must reduce, not only reduce the size of government, but also reduce the size of the current expenditure. The cost of running that government must be within measures that we consider very important. The proposed changes are aimed at improving spending efficiencies and generating additional revenue to create the much-needed fiscal space to improve the economy. SRC says state actors need to ensure effective revenue collection and eliminate a weak payroll management system that has seen ghost workers continue to draw money from the exchequer. I mean, how do you run a payroll for five years and you say you have a thousand ghost workers? What are you doing? It doesn't make sense. Each time there are ghost workers, each time there are ghost workers in the county government, there are ghost workers in some ministry. How? What payroll is that? SRC is also seeking to have the legislation passed in 2012 on public sector pension liability effected, saying pension liability is clocking a trillion shillings. An average worker doing the same thing in Singapore produces more than five times the productivity of our country. It's not something to be proud of. We may just populate offices with numbers, but does that translate into productivity? Does that translate into output that we desire? With the slightly above over 800,000 employees in the public sector, the government says components such as salaries, allowances, and other benefits need to be examined amid the ballooning wage bill that is affecting some of the development agenda. Kamchemenza, Channel One News. Nairobi.